Welcome back to Drive World, and I'm about to turn this wagon 6x6 into a replica of the famous clown wagon. And to help you get an understanding on this, I'm going to show you the evolution of the almighty microbus. First off, we start off with the microbus, which then evolved into the square microbus, but it doesn't just end here. We branch off into another area called the small microbus, which then will split off into the small drag microbus and the small colorful microbus. The small drag microbus will then go into the long small drag microbus, which will then go into the long square microbus, which is the car we're using right now. And now I just have to paint it similar to the other wagon. Before that, if you haven't already, make sure to go watch the old wagon video. And let's add the accessories. And now all we need to do is just color it. And there we go, I believe I have matched the wagon 6x6 as close as I can to the normal wagon. We have one thing left to do, and that's the suspension. And there we go, the suspension is exactly the same as the normal wagon. And to start off, I'm going to be doing the most beloved race. Uh, I mean, who doesn't like drag strip? I mean, this might be the only race this car can actually complete. And here we go. Uh, yep um yeah i our score is probably a little bit lower than everybody else's uh well that's sad i mean it wasn't too bad but it's still five seconds behind them there's probably no chance of me beating them and for the second race we might actually have a chance here because it's an 800 restriction instead of any all right we're not doing too bad uh well Yeah, I think this might be harder to control than the wagon. And this one really struggles with flipping back over once it flips. But luckily they added this last checkpoint button. And I crash in the exact same spot. <sighs> I can't even get past one corner. There we go. We're on to two minutes. And there we go. Two races down. Um, Yeah, that's a little bit worse. Uh, they were using a 600 car and still beat me. All right, I think I figured out the issue, and I think that issue was that I didn't try it in Japan. Back when I recorded the first video, Japan wasn't a thing, and I think coming to here is just going to make it way easier to drive this car. Another issue I could just tell with the car was I forgot to open up the doors. And there we go. Now we got some extra aerodynamics, so let's try out a race here. And now we have a race that's even closer to the restriction of my wagon at 600 if i lose this race it's because there's someone in the back of my car and this is just gonna weigh down that side so it's not my fault if i lose yep that wasn't my fault and we got lapped i don't even think we're halfway through the first lap uh that's great i just love getting lapped in a two lap race that feels good you know i wasn't planning to flip there but i mean i guess that worked we just have one more straight And there we go, we have three races completed. You know what? I am going to try to do a trailer delivery. I think this might actually be easier than I think it's going to be. Nope. Nope, it still flipped. And good thing we're delivering nukes for kids. That's great. Come on. Come on. Yes! Let's go. No! <laughs> Well, guess I gotta go the long way. These roads are so confusing, I don't even know if I'll be able to make it to the end of this delivery spot. I mean, my car might not even flip over. You know what, let's try this in first person. Uh, this might be easier. Yeah, nope. I also completely forgot that I'm on the wrong side of the road. Uh, we'll just get off here. Make sure to check my side mirrors. Yep, uh, I don't see anybody. Not that anybody wants to be in a 10 mile radius of me. Uh, good thing we don't have a rear view mirror in the middle. Right, now we just have to get it in. I can't even see it. There we go. And if you're wanting nukes for your kids, make sure to leave me a message and I'll get it to you within a few months. I think the main issue with this car is that I haven't used it on off-road areas because like, this car just looks like it's good for off-road, so I think this is just going to be an easy race. And I have already flipped, and it doesn't want to flip back over. Am I already about to get lapped? Why are they already lapping me? And we're about to get up to the hardest part of the race. Oh. 
Well, now I need to get a run up. There's no way I could get it from. There's no way I could get it from here. How am I gonna do this? I guess we'll just go for it. Go, 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 go! Oh, oh! I could try it. Nope. Nope. I didn't even get to finish it. Well, I guess that proves how good this car is. I think the main issue is... Okay, just look at this lighting. It's so majestic. And here we are in race world. And since we basically haven't done any real races, like on a racetrack, we obviously have to go here. And for the first race, we have to do one fourth drag. I mean, like, this is the only real race in drive world. And here we are, we have three different trucks. Uh, I am actually doing really good. Eight seconds doesn't actually seem too bad. And I'm just gonna keep going and... Oh, is it gonna work? I didn't actually flip. Let's go. Oh, now on to the next race. This car is just chaos. So we're going to be doing chaos crossing. And you know what? I'm going to do one lap of this with this car. And then I'm going to switch back to the original wagon and see if I can get a better time. I was going to say that I wasn't doing too bad, but I don't think I'm going to be competing anymore. I have no idea where anybody is. Oh, I I guess that's them there. Oh, that's not even the same race. Where even is everybody? Am I just by myself now? I don't remember anybody passing me other than at the start. Uh, I think that's them passing me. I This is right here, I think, is the second lap. I actually almost went fast enough to where nobody lapped me. And also, I'm guessing that the fourth person in this race left because there's no way that they are going slower than me. There we go. We finally finished it at... Six minutes and 45 seconds. I mean, do I really have to do the other wagon? Do I want to do it? No. Am I gonna do it? Probably. I mean, I had to do it. This car actually isn't as bad as remember, other than that it is still definitely an eyesore. And when it comes to clown cars, I think I'm just gonna stick with this one. But why would I even do that? And make sure to send this to your parents so I can explain why this is a perfect car to start off with. The first reason why you should buy this car is because of how easy it is to see. This will ensure you that, in fact, this is your kid driving past you. The second reason is the colors are so bright, so you don't have to worry about your kids trying to hide a crash that they had. The next reason is the front of this car. As the phrase goes, this has a face that only a mother can love. And your mom is purchasing this car, so she's obviously gonna like it. And with the doors open, you can easily save money because you don't have AC repair costs. And there's so many seats, you don't have to worry about running out of space. I'm going to show you how many seats that actually is. To start off, servers have a max size of 30. And this wagon can fit up to 13 people. And 13 can fit into 32 times. And with- And now we want to add another zero. And 13 is still too small to fit into 10. So you want to add another- <laughs> This keeps going and it never- And with them being reflective, you never have to worry about them getting hot. And just to make this car better than it already is, there's a rack on top so you can always have space for luggage. And with a speedometer in the middle that actually shows your miles per hour, it's way easier for a beginner to understand how fast they're going. And with that, hopefully your parents buy you this car. And I am never using a wagon again. Unless this video gets a lot of likes.